Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Fingerling. Did you enjoy your day? No, no. This flying carpet is going to the laundry room, dear. Very dust to Mrs. Knotts, room 14. Thank you. And of course, the breakfast is served between 6 and 10, and our restaurant is open. So it's just to get her. Stacy, the pumpkin dough needs to be made directly at the restaurant. Oh, Mr. Clark, can you please walk Mrs. Bristol-Cole's And of course, we wish you and your toads a most pleasant stay, sir. Good night. Yes, this way. Good evening and welcome to the Midnight Feather Hotel. You have arrived at the most enchanting place. Our hotel is 200 years old and world renowned for the quality of its bedrooms and how wonderful the welcome is to any human being, animal or fantastical creature. Did you have a pleasant journey? Excellent. Yes, it is a rainy day indeed. So I assume you have a reservation. May I have your name please? There you are. So you are staying with us for seven nights, is that correct? Excellent. So I have some good news for you. At the moment we have three bedrooms available for your stay. Each one comes with distinctive features, so you can choose the one that suits your mood best. May I present them to you? These are some of the finest rooms of the hotel. The first one is the Ren Room. This one is a delightful bedroom on the first floor of the hotel where you are surrounded by lots of plants which will make you feel like you've stepped into a fairy tale cottage. It features a queen size bed, linen sheets, and a bathroom with an old fashioned clawfoot tub. It's about 15 square meters, and there are two windows one facing south, and the other east so you can wake up with a beam of sunlight on your bed. This room is a heaven of peace and coziness, making you feel at home. The next one is the Phoenix room. This is our medieval bedroom on the third and last floor of the hotel. It has its own wood stove, and beautiful antique beams that are centuries years old and which you can spend hours admiring lying on your king-size bed. It has a bathroom of course with a wooden tub to transport you back in time. It is about 14 square meters and the window faces the forest in the north. This is my personal favorite for it has a lot of character. 
it is visited by a friendly ghost from time to time, but don't worry, it won't disturb you unless you are in a top cutting mode. Last one. This is one of our most luxurious bedrooms. The Peacock Room. It is often chosen by book lovers and scholars because it features a library with many novels, fantasy tales, and antique spell box. It is also one of the largest rooms with 25 square meters and huge windows over the French gardens. On a clear day you may even catch a glimpse of the royal castle on the other side of the valley. It has a king-size four-poster bed Sparkle sheets and a gorgeous bathroom that also looks over the gardens so you can enjoy the view while taking a bath. So, which one sounds the most attractive to you? Excellent choice! Now, let's complete the registration form if you'd like. What is your address, please? Mm -hmm. The country. Room number 15. Do you have any companions with you? Animal or creature? Cat, rat, snake, fairy, pixie, carrigan? We have the most delightful tiny beds for any small being at a small additional cost. Very well, I understand. Now let me give you the key. And here. Now, do you have any flying vehicle you'd like to leave here at reception? Carpet, broomstick, umbrella. We guarantee complete safety here, unless you prefer to leave it in the storage unit outside of the building. All right. Oh, Miss Bucket, good evening. So you're out for the night? Yes, off to the village fair and the witches gathering. This is going to be quite something with that rain. May I leave my keys at reception? Of course, yes. You can leave them here. There will always be someone at the reception desk. Oh, lovely. Here they are. Good night. Enjoy your evening. Good night.
mind the bat. Do you have any luggage? Any more? Very well. I can call our porter so he can take them to your room. Excellent. One minute, please. Yes, Mr. Clark, are you available right now to move our guest's luggage? You... What do you mean by one foot in a dragon's mouth exactly? Yes, it... ah, yes. Dear me, what's happened? It so happened that I came across Mrs. Bristlecone's pets, and one of the dragonettes looked quite playful. But, um, Wait, where are you? Yes, well, as I said... Yes, I understood partially in a dragon, but where exactly? Quite near the storehouse, but um, I... Well, do me a favor and stop playing with Mrs. Bristlecone's menagerie and come to the reception desk at once, please. Someone requires your services. Ah, yes. I'll come as quickly as I can. Excellent. Everything's fine. Mr. Clark will be here in no time. You can leave your luggage here and he will come as soon as he can. Now, if you don't mind, allow me to give you a few details about the breakfast and the restaurant at Midnight Feather Hotel. Breakfast is served every morning between 6 and 10. You can have it directly delivered to your room or you can enjoy it in the restaurant on the ground floor. We have the most delicious selection of breakfasts and as many beverages as you can imagine. We can even offer you a personalized tea blend tailored to your mood that we will concoct before you. Please just let us know the day before whether you'd like to eat in your bedroom or at the restaurant. Excellent. Mrs. Bristlecorn, what a lovely tiny dragon you have here. Isn't he? It looks like your porter had a few troubles with him, but I can assure you there's no kind of creature in the whole country. Oh, I have no doubt about that. Oh, bless you, sweetie. Good night. Good night. Now, the restaurant is open all day long from breakfast to dinner in case you would like to have a snack between two meals. Of course, you can book a table here directly at reception for lunch or dinner. Mm -hmm. Everything is homemade and many of the ingredients are grown in the hotel kitchen garden. Of course, our chef will be delighted to tell you all you need to know about the daily specials, especially if you want to add a small spell in your dish. Mm -hmm. I particularly recommend the magic bean stew and the gingerbread house, especially the wolf. Would you like to book a table for dinner? Mm -hmm. At what time?
what else? Oh yes, of course, we provide many forms of entertainment directly at the hotel from craft workshops to the most relaxing activities Is there anything in particular you'd be interested in? Relaxation Excellent, let me see Here are three very relaxing activities I highly recommend. First, the crystal massage, a very popular and regenerative massage that is always a unique and different experience for each person. The stones and crystals used are chosen depending on your health and particular wishes. This takes place every Tuesday morning at 9 so you can feel fresh and ready for your day. Next is our specialty, the magic baths. You will not find this in any other hotel in the country. This takes place in the historic bath of the hotel where the water is mixed with potions that instantly relieve all tension in your body. The water scent and color will always match your desires and they can even change during the session to perfectly match your mood. We offer this every evening. We know how comfortable it is to unwind in warm baths after a busy day. The last one is a guided meditation class every Thursday at 11 in the morning. The theme is always different from one session to another and allows you to visit various places in your imagination you never knew existed. And you could be quite surprised. It's usually a favorite with creative people and artists. Yes, it's recommended to book them at least the day before. Mm -hmm. The magic bath. Excellent. When? Very well. One hour, two hours? Mm Now let me give you a map of the hotel main floor so you can see where everything is located besides your bedroom. So right now you are here at reception, the main restaurant where you can have breakfast, lunch or dinner is here. The buses you'll use very soon are on your left, but don't worry, it is clearly indicated. 
you have access to the gardens through these doors as well as this one here and of course via the main doors we often have exhibitions in this large room here at the center and the current theme is time travel feel free to wander in the beautiful corridors as well there are many paintings as well as architectural wonders you will find out quite soon that the building is a one of a kind and full of history Oh, Mr. Magpie, it's been a while. How was your day? Oh, most enjoyable, I must say. I've just come back from a very, very interesting conference about the history of cauldron making. Well, it sounds delightful. A few letters have arrived for you, by the way. Brilliant. Um, may I leave you my broomstick? Thank you. And the broom for the night, no worry. Good night. Good night. Just one minute, please. Mr. And we're almost done. Just let me show you a few things you might need during your stay. In your room, in addition to the traditional door handle signs you might need, you will also find three door signs like this, in case you need to ensure no one disturbs you during your magic sessions. On your final day, we just ask you to leave the room as you found it. So please make sure you do not leave any spells in action when you check out. Oh, Mr. Clark is here for your luggage just in time. All I have left to do is now give you a few candles to make your evening even cozier. You will find several candle holders in your bedroom.
And now Mr. Clark is going to walk you to your room. Mr. Clark, is everything all right? Ah, yes. Miss Bristlehurst Isle has briefly escaped, but I'll have it back in no time. Well, mine's a talent. Ouch. You nocturnal nightmare. And if you ever need anything, please come to see me. I will be delighted to help. And of course, we wish you the most pleasant stay at the Midnight Feather Hotel. But this is your last chance. One, two, three, four. Welcome to the Midnight Feather Hotel. I hope you had a pleasant journey. Thank <laughs> you.